Hello world! You landed in this video because you're looking for a way for you to write HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and have a live preview, meaning not needing to save and refresh the page every single time. Isn't that a neat feature? Well, you landed in the right place. Hey, I'm Jen from Coding Jungle, where we talk everything related to the front-end world and its tools. So before we jump into the content or the nitty gritty of the video, I would like to clarify something. There are two flavors of code editors. I like to call them flavors. One of them is online coding code editors and the other one's the software that you actually download in your computer and you use locally. You use, <laughs> you use locally. You don't need internet for that. So what is the difference you might ask? Should I use online editors or should I use the ones that I download? My personal recommendation is that if you're just starting, if you are a beginner, totally check out the online editors because those work out of the box. You don't need to install anything. They include live preview by default and some of them don't even require for you to sign up. So it's a perfect playground for you to test your ideas. I made a whole video talking about online editors and explaining the pros and cons of the four most popular ones out there. So make sure to check Check that out. The video could be either here or here. I don't know where the car pops out, but you'll figure it out. It's popping out somewhere. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to explain to you the code editors that you can download and you can have live preview in them. Out there in the, in the, out there in the world, the industry promises a lot of code editors that uh, have live preview working out of the box. The reality is very different. So I'm going to break those myths for you and actually help you set up a code editor that actually works show you the tricks behind the scenes. Are you ready? Come here, let's jump to my computer. The very first option I'm gonna show you, it's called Brackets. Brackets, as it says here, is a modern open source text editor that understands web design. I think it's a very minimalistic looking editor and it's perfect for beginners because it just works out of the box for HTML and CSS preview. It's pretty straightforward. You can download it with this blue button and this software is available for Windows and Mac. So go ahead and download this. The process is very straightforward as downloading any software. All right, let's open brackets up. Once you open it for the very first time, you will most likely land in this uh, getting started page. To enable live preview, you just have to go to this lightning bolt here to the right, click on it, and it will open Chrome. A disclaimer regarding the live preview from brackets, you will see this message for the very first time that you trigger it, is that it only works for Google Chrome. That is very important for you to know. So if you wanna use live preview for Firefox or Internet Explorer or Edge or any other browser, it will not work. That's just for you to know. Okay, so now let's open a real product project and see how it works. So I already created a little project called brackets. It's just an empty folder that's sitting in my desktop. Let's close this one. And let's create a new file and let's call it index.html. Brackets doesn't come with Emmet installed out of the box. Emmet is a very, very popular plugin that helps you write HTML and CSS a lot faster. So the way to enable this is again here on the right hand side, there's this kind of like Lego piece looking here. These are all your extensions. So you need to go to your extension shop and here you, we need to type Emmet. I already installed it here. You just click install and that's it. You proceed to close this and here is the beauty of Emmet. I write this exclamation mark, I hit tab, and bams, I have the structure of an HTML document working just like that. Again, let's hit that lightning bolt here to open our preview. And once this preview is loaded, then we can start writing. So let's type an H201, hello world, with a Z of course. And as you see, it's there immediately working out of the box so nice. The cool thing also about brackets is that as you see this rectangle here, this blue section, it tells you where your cursor is and what that element corresponds on the website. Now let's open a CSS file, index.css. Let's change that body background. So let's put a background color here. It's super cool because you also see auto suggest. And let's put it in aquamarine. That looks nice. Let's save. Nothing happens. That's because we haven't linked our CSS to our HTML. So because we have Emmet, it is super straightforward. We go link, colon, CSS, hit tab, bams, and we have our link there. Here, let's just change the name now to index.css to match it. And without saving it, it just works out of the box. So that is pretty cool. And again, if I add another paragraph here, this, well, well is a paragraph with a lot of typos. <laughs> you automatically see it on the left hand side. So now let's add a JavaScript file, index.js. Let's make sure to link that JavaScript file up here. Script, this source is gonna be index. Oh, we need the uh, quotation marks. 
Here, it's cool also that I have a dropdown that I can choose which files I'm tackling. So index.js, let's save it. Let's try a very basic thing. Let's do a console log. So let's write console log, hello. So console logs will not be spat out here directly on the browser. What we need to do on the browser is right click, inspect, go to the console. I'm gonna zoom in here, clear it here with this thing. And if I click save, nothing happens. So why can I see my console log? I linked it here, index.js, index.js, and it doesn't work. And I see these errors. And this for me personally is one of the pitfalls from brackets. I searched online to try to fix this error. And unfortunately I didn't find a solution in my first five minutes. And I know there are better options out there. So if I can't fix this in five minutes, I'm gonna give it quits. So here comes my second option which is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code was created by Microsoft. It is surprising that Microsoft currently is focusing a lot on providing developers with good tools, especially after they created something like Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is every developer's nightmare. It is one of the most, I would say, complicated and not cool browsers to support. So it's really cool that Microsoft currently is focusing a lot on, de on developing tools for developers, <laughs> developing tools for developers, get it? <laughs> to make our life easier. So Visual Studio Code, you can download it for Mac, Windows, or Linux. It is very versatile and it just works out of the box. Again, you can download it. It's a very straightforward process as you download any software. And once you open that one, let's open it here. It looks like this. You will probably get a welcome screen since I already had that software installed here and that welcome screen similar to brackets will show you will give you a welcome to the software and give you a small tour into it. So for the purpose of this video, let's open a folder. If we open here and I created one as well called playground already. I open it and it's right here. So what happens? So let's do index.html. I did not install any extensions so far. That's not true, there's one regarding the theme, it, but in general, it doesn't affect how the code editor works out of the box. And just out of the box, it has Emmet. As I mentioned before, Emmet is a plugin that helps you write HTML faster. And here you will see it in action. Here, I write an exclamation mark, and as you see, a little box pops out that says Emmet abbreviation. I hit tab. And bams, I have the bare bones of what an HTML file looks like without me needing to remember all this. And again, here I can put an H1 and here I can put hello. You know, we have to do a big O oh, cause it's cool. And if we save it and you might be asking, okay, super cool, but where is the live preview? The caveat about Visual Studio Code is that it's very powerful and it comes with a lot of things working out of the box, except for live preview. But don't worry, it is a super simple thing to fix. We need to go to this icon, which is the extensions. If you are on a Windows computer, this icon might look different. Just know that it's the last one and it's where all the extensions are. And in here, we search for live preview. And it's actually called live server. <laughs> and here you would see this live server plugin created by Ritwick Day. We install it. And as it's installing, uh, that's pretty much it. And that's it, it's installed. And what happened? What happened is that at the very bottom, let me minimize this a little bit so I can show you here in my screen. Here at the very bottom, I now have an icon that says go live. After installing if this, if you don't see this icon, just close Visual Studio Code and open it again, kind of like refresh it, and then you should see that icon there. So let's go back to our HTML page. And either I can right click on it and I can put open with live server. And then we wait and again, Chrome opened and I have my hello written right here. Now let's put a dinosaur cause we're cool like that. Remember we like T-Rexes. So let's put a little T-Rex here. Here we have to save it and we see the T-Rex. Yay. <laughs> the same happens if we add an index.css CSS file, again, let's change the body, background color, and now, oh, cornflower blue, my favorite one nowadays. We save that and nothing happens. That is again, because we have not linked the index CSS to index HTML. Remember how in brackets I had to Google how to actually link it because I don't remember it and I hadn't installed Emmet. 
Since Emmet is here working out of the box, I simply need to type link, CSS, enter, and change this to index.css, save it, and bams, you see cornflower blue. Now let's try the JavaScript test. Drum roll, index.js, console.log, what's up? We save this and nothing happens. So two things, console logs, you will not be able to see them here inside of what the user sees in the browser, but instead we need to open again our um, inspect and these are gonna the dev tools from Chrome and here we click on console and we should be able to see here what's up. And again, I haven't linked index.js to the index HTML. So I can do that from here, script. And here I put source index.js, save that. And I see here, what's up? Do you see it? If not, I can zoom in, what's up? And it just works with a very simple plugin. There you have it, the two options I promised I was gonna show you. For a recap, online code editors are perfect if you are a beginner and don't or can't download software. You don't have to worry about installing anything or signing up for accounts in some uh, circumstances, it just works out of the box with live preview. If you want to download software, Brackets is a perfect choice if you're just writing for HTML and CSS. The really cool feature about Brackets is as you're hovering on an element, you will see the direct correlation on the browser of what that element is. Now for the most advanced option is Visual Studio Code. This one is recommended because it works out of the box with Emmet, color coding, and a lot of other functions, and you just have to install a plugin to have live preview on it. Which one is my favorite, you might ask, and I hope it's pretty obvious, it is Visual Studio Code again, winning, yay! If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions that I have not answered in this video regarding code editors or anything in general about front-end development, make sure to write them down in the comments below. I promise I'm gonna check them and then make content to answer those questions for you. Remember, these videos are for you to help you out in your learning um, journey as you become a front-end developer. So stick around and I hope I see you next time. Peace!